Welcome to Happy Eye with Chip and Skin. Are we keeping it fresh? Yes. We freshened it up again? Where are we now? Back. In the back, are we on our patio? Yes. Sitting on our patio with our lovely flowers from Burns Garden Center. Yes? Yes. We have two cats in the window watching us. We've got a dog sitting here watching us. Anything else exciting happening right now? It's in. What about the kittens? Zeke, it's in. We have three cats, don't we? What are their names? Will and Karma. Will and Karma. Yes, they're the new ones. Who's the old one? Shiner. Shiner. Do you have a favorite? Shiner. Shiner is your favorite. She's the friendliest out of the bunch. Karma and Will were feral for a bit longer than Shiner was. So they're they're becoming a little more social, but they don't like to be picked up. Do they like to be picked up? You. They don't. And when they want to be petted, it's on their terms, isn't it? It ain't up to us, is it, mister? Nope. What else exciting is going on? Going on. What else you got? <laughs> Was it a good week at school? Yes. Yes. Did you have fun? Yes. Yeah. Do you have a favorite thing you did at school this week? Got special kids. Got special kids. You know, I don't know if I have ever publicly thanked Tammy Anderson, who owned the business, Got Special Kids, which sells all kinds of really cool sensory toys and educational toys and just all kinds of neat things for special kids. And when she decided that she didn't want to run the business anymore, she gifted it to Jacob's school so that they would have an opportunity to practice job skills. So, Tammy Anderson, I don't know if I ever told you, you're cool. Say thanks, Tammy. Thanks, Tammy. That's right. So, this is the Jacob and Jen Happy Hour. If you've never joined us before, we like oracle cards, don't we? You have a lot of oracle cards, don't you? You brought a bunch of them outside. You can't see them because it's kind of tough to get a camera angle here. But let's see. One, two, three, seven, ten, thirteen, sixteen. He brought 19 decks of oracle cards out. <laughs> and we're going to pull a card and we're going to talk about what's on the card because we like to talk about this kind of stuff, don't we? Yeah. We like to think about what we think about, right? right? We like to question our thoughts, right? And right. question our ideas because what happens in life? We get handed down all of these belief systems about how things should be, right? Right. And we don't question them most of the time. We've just taken them from some well-meaning adult, most likely in our lives, and we've adopted them as our own. And then we live our lives according to beliefs that we may not even really believe. So we like to take opportunities to think about that kind of stuff, right? Right. Yeah, because in the end, it ends our suffering, correct? Everybody suffers, right? And here's the thing about that. Pain, inevitable. It's going to happen, right? Right. Suffering, optional. 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 So we're going to opt out when we can. All right. So do you want to choose? Hmm. This is a pretty deck. I'm still sucking a cough drop because I still have a little residual COVID action going here. Are you feeling good? Have you fully recovered? Yeah. Yes. Of course. You had a fever for like an hour. <laughs> and then a cough for a couple of days. And you just handled it like a rock star. And I can tell you there's a bunch of ideas that I have as to why he did so well. He eats really healthy. He exercises. He takes a lot of supplements, a really good supplements that boost his immune system. So all of that, I have no doubt, was a big help. You got an itchy nose today? I noticed. <laughs> Have I ever told you the handkerchief story? It's kind of a funny story. <clears throat> Should I tell the handkerchief story now or later? Now. All right. So, Jacob went through a period where he had a runny nose a lot. And so, <laughs> he was going through a lot of Kleenex. And I had to go to carry Toyota to do a remote for work. <laughs> and I took Jacob with me. I didn't have anybody that could hang with him that day. And, you know, he's cool. He can hang, right? So I took him to carry Toyota. And he was sniffling and sniffling and sniffling. And so I told him to go to the bathroom and get some toilet mamer. He came walking out. 
He walked all through the dealership out to the front where we were sitting. And he has just this massive pile of toilet paper. And I'm like, okay, we've got to, you know, come up with something here. Because this is just not going to work. And that's when we came up with the handkerchief idea, right? And does it work pretty well for you? Yeah, just a little dab here and there as necessary. Yeah, it works. Okay, for we're a out. long time. For a long time? What, we've been using handkerchiefs for a long time now? It's been a few years. How many handkerchiefs do you think you have? Three. You have three with you at a time. One in your fanny pack and two in your bag. But upstairs in the closet, you probably got, what, 30 of them? Handkerchiefs, it's our thing. Got one? All right. <clears throat> that looks like a marijuana leaf. Is it? Okay by me. Does it? I don't know. Is it? <laughs> Is it? I don't know, but it's sparkly and it's pretty. Versatility. Oh. Versatility. Let's see what versatility has to do with us. You know, we have to be very versatile. I think there is no, <clears throat> oh, this is the one, is this fire or what is it? Does it say? Sometimes I get so confused. Let's see. Cause these come, <sighs> I should just let you find it. Because I get frustrated. See, you're so much better at this than me. There it is. Found it. Versatility. Pulling this card may indicate a time where you are coming up against a lot of resistance. Yes. Yes. But we've been here before, haven't we? We have not, I don't think, since the very beginning of your life, have we taken the common road or the common path. We have really done things our own way, haven't we? We have done things that others have told us weren't gonna work. We have done things that other people have said are crazy. We have done things that experts have shaken their finger at and said, don't do that, don't do that, don't do that. And did we listen? And did things work out pretty good for us? Yeah, I think so. So this is um, familiar. A lot of times we focus on one thing very intensely and push hard despite being shown that the timing is off. What can be helpful in those situations is to move on to other things so that the energy is freed up and you can go back to it when the timing is right. I think that's really a good point too. This card teaches us to be flexible and go along with what is being presented to us, even if it may not be what we want rather than trying to force things that are not ready. It may also indicate a need for approaching the situation differently. If you don't feel it is about stepping back, examine how you can shift what is already there. Mm, mm, that is a weed flower. That is a marijuana leaf. Cannabis teaches us how to find multiple uses and benefits within a single thing. <laughs> Our experiences inform how we view our present reality. And sometimes that means we can get into a rut or routine. I've been in a bit of a rut. Have you? Don't we need, I mean, this is really good that we're like mixing it up and coming to different locations for happy hour. But there are other kind of like ruts and routines that we're in too, you know, that we could probably mix up a little bit, right? Okay, we're gonna do that. Not realizing all the opportunities that are available. Cannabis is a plant that can be used as medicine physically, emotionally, and spiritually, but also for clothing, textiles, paper, housing materials, oil, food, etc. Every part of the plant can be used for so many different things. Call upon cannabis when you need support in thinking outside the box. All right. You take CBD, don't you? Mm-hmm. Me too. Wow. Interesting card. Don't you feel like we're living in really interesting times right now? There's just a lot going on, isn't there? We're going to start our podcast soon. I thought it was really neat. I posted a picture of us and um, asked people, I said, do you have any questions for us or what do you want us to talk about on our podcast at home or at home with autism podcast? We got some pretty good questions. 
See? Good catch there. I didn't put the weed the weed card back. Thanks, man. You're so on top of things. You're so organized. Thank goodness. Because I, me, mom, not so much. Is there anything else you would like to say before we leave for the day? See you next week. Mm. Mm -hmm. See you next week. Anything else? Bye. Peace out. Wait again. <laughs> Chance. <laughs>